Francisco is with us in California. Hi, Francisco. How are you? I am great, Dave. I'm honored to be on the phone with you. Thank you. You too, sir. How can I help? Well, I'm in a, a bit of a unique situation. I purchased a home. It's a mobile home. And it's in an area where they actually, I don't know that they go up in value, but they at least keep up with, with inflation. And uh, No, I they don't. The, the, the land under them might, but the mobile home doesn't. Well, okay. You got um, land under it? The, the land is, is uh, for rent. So it's in a very, very desirable uh, city. Yeah, well, uh, the, the, the rent the rent area might be very desirable, but um, okay, go ahead. But uh, in anyhow, the the mobile home I purchased was not financeable, so I took out unsecured debt to purchase the home. Mm -hmm. uh, I I owe about fifty thousand across three different loans. Uh, we paid off about. 30,000 so far and using the debt snowball, uh, just aggressively getting at it. Uh, one loan is 22,000, uh, two for 13,000 and one for 4,000. Um, at the rate we're paying off, we're going to be done with it in two years. Good. Okay. Uh, my question is having the thousand dollars from baby step one, has been great. Uh, we haven't used a credit card and I don't even know how long cut them up. Um, best thing ever we ever did. Um, but at what point uh, I wonder, should I stop to do baby step three when you're through with baby step two? And now the, the home debt is all, all, all the debt is home debt. So, you, you, can the, you can put the you can put the listen you can put the mobile home debt wherever you want to put it. It's so small. What's your household income? We make seventy a year. Okay, you're going to be debt free in two years, which is very normal for someone working the debt snowball. That's right. what you told me. And then at that point, we would own the mobile home. Yeah, and I mean, and so if you want to make this baby step six, you can make it baby step six if you want to. I don't care uh, because it's your you know it's your home. But it sounds like it's such small, right. such a small amount of debt, and they're in such small increments, and you're going to be done in two years. I wouldn't. I just call it baby step two, and I just treat it like it's credit card debt because it is. Okay. <laughs> and go about it that way. Yeah, that'd be my plan. And the other thing I, I want you to consider is, I don't think this is a good long term plan. I think 10 well, years from now, you're not uh, going to be glad you've been living in a mobile home for 10 years. I don't care if you're in a, an area where the real estate prices m are masking the fact that you are living in a mobile home. Well, the rent there is so cheap, and we, we'll be able to save up to buy a home cash. That's what I want. Yeah. That's what I said, 10 years. But As a 10-year plan, this is not a 10-year plan. Uh, if, if it's a few more years and you're just going to save and like crazy and pay cash for a home at some point or put a substantial down payment on a home, a traditional built home that's going to go up in value in a traditional way, that's true. Uh, but, you know, there are mobile homes in Malibu that sell for a million dollars. But the mobile home isn't what's selling for a million dollars. It's the fact that it's sitting on dirt in Malibu. The dirt is what's selling for that. And so... It, it, the the real estate that's in and around this mobile home is masking the fact that it is deteriorating, it's going down in value, and it's not a good long-term play. Now, instead of doing rent, you want to call it your short-term play, that's okay. It's a little more expensive than I like, but uh, that that's an, you know you can justify it that way. But don't don't get this up in your head that this is a smart twenty-year game plan or 10-year game plan. It's not. I wouldn't do it long-term. Long Thanks for the call.